Hello. Here we are. Are you guys ready? We, tonight, we crown the Tabletop Royale champion. This is the belt. Hold it high. <laughs> the deck gets to sling it over its shoulder. Yeah. Saunter onto the stage. Hey, I gotta get the case, too. We do have a case uh, yeah. for it. Yeah. Um, the deck will earn a Game Genie case. Yes. Well. This will travel with the belt, so... If in the future you win the belt, you, you get, get both. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a, it is a uh, all uh, together. It is a kit and caboodle there. So should we do it in like an announcement, uh, like a ring, yeah. <laughs> like a ring announcement? And this guy. Uh, do we have the SAS numbers for the decks? Uh, What's Jack Feet's SAS? Weighing in at. Weighing in at. I don't. I don't. Uh, uh, wait, hang on. I, I timed I'm this. I'm panicking. Uh, somebody quick tell deck, us quick do, deck, do, the, do the commands deck mr jackfeet the perfect commander professional mods streamers. mods 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 there you go okay weighing in at 69 sass nice nice <laughs> We've got Mr. Jackfeet, the perfect commander! Woo! 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 Hung off its second place finish in the Mass Mutations Tournament, powering through the Tabletop Royale Championship for a title shot! Woo! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Ed, Eddie's... I've hyped Eddie up from all <laughs> the yelling. He's too hyped. And in this corner! Cunt Phage, the Lady General of the Keep, vault to a Richmond champion. Once upon a time, 69 sass, but now 78 sass. Woo! Woo! All right. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> Let's get ready to keep on. Fortress Okay. Uh, Justin also did... Um, implement the uh, the ch the fight night rewards. Yes. So after this match is concluded, we will have our very first TGR champion, and then you um, can decide what decks in our collection get the next matchup. Yeah. So uh, in the channel point rewards, we've got uh, a undercard match, which is basically you spend eight K points and you tell us the two decks that we have in our collection that you want to play against each other. And then we have uh, a 20k, sorry, yeah, a 20k channel point reward that is a title shot. So you pick the deck from our collection that will go against uh, Confage for the title shot. Um, Confage and, or oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Jackby. It's predetermined. He's he's leaked. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, uh, TGR I'm is already, in my in my head. Confage has already won this belt. Uh, yes, AGDK could control the it's, stream. This is where this is this is where the uh, the the kayfabe drops. Rigged. New... <laughs> Cut the stream. Just like <laughs> it's all it's all collapsing. I don't. I us. think I think I think two out of three. I think Comp Page is going to take it. The Jack Feet. I think Jack Feet can win a game we'll where see. it gets lucky and it disrupts the right things. At we'll the right see. Time. So, um, when will the decks kiss? All right, and we said that I was playing comp phage for all three games. Yeah, so that we decided at the time. Okay. Yep, we'll stick with that. Uh, after this yeah. game, there's only one match tonight. We'll be doing our sealed tournament prep. Yeah, where we're gonna open all 32 decks for the sealed. We're gonna write their names in the bracket. Yes. We're going to uh, France. France. Five months. Appreciate that, France. We'll show you their houses and what set they're in, and that's all we'll know going into the sealed tournament. Before we open up, uh, before we open up things, Eddie gets a treat. Oh, he heard that. His ears perked up. He knows. He knows. Eddie got a bath today. No, he's very. He's smelling very fresh. He doesn't smell like dog right now. Very very fresh. Yeah. Um. We'll 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 see. We're not gonna scan the decks in yet. Um, Justin and I will probably just take a quick peek just to see if there's any anomalies or mavericks or anything like that in them. So, um, I think the bandana is just so cute on Eddie. This, it works very well. 
It, the one time good... I bought him one though, that wasn't like because it gets one every time he goes to the spa. The one time I bought him one, he chewed it off. So I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> He's What's like... up with that? <laughs> He's, not He's a pretty good accessory dog. Yeah. I need to get him some shirts, some hoodies. Once upon a time, he had a Star Wars shirt. Orion. Orion. Well, Orion. months. Thank you so much, Orion. Appreciate that. A whole year. Man, there's so many people in the in the year club now. I did not give him a bath before that and bandana. No. I let the professionals give him baths because <laughs> they're better at it than me. He is very upset about baths. And they get to cut his nails and brush his teeth and do all that cool stuff, including his ears. Oh, yeah. I just don't want to look do at, all that. Look at the bet going. There weren't any people shakes to remind me. All right, Sorry. we got the bet. The game's going. Bet is up. I'm kind of surprised Jack Feet's only 69 sass. Yeah, I think Mass Mutations. I feel like it was screwy. higher before. Uh, Mass Mutations is still screwy. Yeah. I think. So, Confade started as like a mid 60s and has like slowly climbed. And the last update, it went from, it went from like. It was mid 60s, then went to 68, then went to 69, then went to like 72, and the last us update uh, put it up to 78. So, um, yeah. Look at this Jack Feet, the special sauce to make it this far. So, that's a good question. Uh, it's done great in this tournament. One, it had to get through five rounds because it was in one of those win and in rounds. Yeah. It's got just so much disruption in it. It's got a lot of board wipes. It's got a lot of stealing. It can have some huge stealing turns. Yeah. It's got purging from all three zones, or from, from three different zones, right? Yeah. And it then can. it can discard from deck. So it can purge from discard pile, it can purge from hand with Inspector, it can purge from the table with the Cyber Clone, and then it can vandalize stuff out of the deck. So it has a lot of just of just messing with the opponent's stuff. Yeah, it, um, it doesn't lose quickly. So it forces the games to go longer, and all that purging really adds up when you go through a deck multiple times. Um, that was, I think, one of the things we really discovered in Mass Mutations is uh, when the games aren't immediately over, um, you, you have a tendency to go through deck at least twice. Um, Logos is pretty good about that in this set, is like making sure you go into the deck at least twice. And when you start kicking out important cards, then uh, the the purge you just you don't have combos anymore. There are like various things you were looking for that just don't work anymore. So the four um, does does Confuge have Archer removal? It doesn't, no. right? So like Redacted probably is Redacted could be good. Yeah, it's got some game. Yeah, I can see Redacted being good. Uh, all right, this hand is a pretty easy mulligan, I'd say, for Confage. This two is a mulligan. It's got Skixx yeah, and that, Gateway in it. I think that is one of the things I am most scared of, is the Martian Generosity being discarded um, before I get to use it, right? Yeah, there's a lot of just random discarding Because there's Subtle here. Auto, there's Inspector, there's Vandalize. So I think that makes it even more important for me to try to mulligan to hit it. Um, so... I think it also has the potential to, like, if you're sitting at three amber or something, just to steal that amber, you know? Yeah. And put you at a lower... After having to generate all the amber you need for the generosity on the Mars turn. In the same turn. Yeah. yeah. We'll see, though. Yeah. This is, this is what it all led up to. Two years in the making. Very it's exciting. Climbed six points. Yeah, I think, so, uh, I mean, Justin and I talked about this pretty extensively and when we were playing the Mass Mutations tournament, it's just really hard to judge a Mass Mutation deck before you sit down and play with it. Uh, I think, like, Fugitive Adler is a good example of that. I think Jack Feet, you would look at Jack Feet and say, this deck looks pretty good, um, but you wouldn't think it would be one of the best decks from the set that we had. Hmm. All right. So I'm first, I will play a bobble. All right, I am gonna say Brobnar. I'm gonna play Foozle and a Blood of the Titans. And it is your turn, I will say so Shadows. I will play Brad Penny and draw and steal. I will play a Subtle Auto and discard a card from your hand. Two years, TTR, two years of Armstrong's. 2018 was a good year. Yeah, it was a good <laughs> year. It was a good year. Oh, that's my second Merkins. card. I won the game. 
I just won the game. Yeah, that's not good. It's all opportunist stunts of auto. It's definitely not good. I think that there's a lot of good Merc in starting. There <laughs> actually are a lot of good Mercans. Um, all right, I will say Shadows. I'll go ahead and just run out the TMTP. I don't think there's much uh, uh, much I can do with that. And then I'll Nerve Blast to kill the subtle auto. And it's your turn. I'll draw three. Mm, okay, I'll say Logos. I'll play Redacted and Research Smoko. Okay, I am going to say Shadows. I'm going to play Dusk Chronicles and Archive. And I'm going to oubliette that red penny. That one with Prejudice. And I will draw three. Good. I'll say Logos. I will get the counter on Redacted. I'll Diametric Charge the Foozle for one. Foozle laughs. I'll play Munchling. I'll Reap with Smoko. Mm. Okay, I am going to say Brobnar. I'm going to play Signal Fire. Um, Foozle will reap. And I am going to Ganger Chieftain Foozle into the Munchling. It is your turn. I will draw two. Imagine opening Confage in a sealed Voltor. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what, who, who does that? It's ridiculous. All right, I'll say this. I will reap with Smoko with the Dominator Bobble. I will play a Dominator Bobble. I will. Play Brabble, play Inspector, play Toronto. Can uh, I don't know why I didn't notify the channel, but continuing the gifted sub from Stormstrong. Thank you, Professor, Professor Toronto. Much appreciated. I'm gonna pain reaction something, but then I'm gonna gateway. Okay. I'm gonna draw a card. I will archive the top card of my deck. Brabble the crap out of that. I will uh, Brabble one. Three chains. Urging a night, uh, nerve blast, which is not okay, but I don't yeah. think that's. And I don't think it's going to break. Matters. Yeah, I don't think it will break the game for you. Yeah. Is it? Okay, I am going to say Mars. I'm going to play Mother Gun. I'll play Stormcrawler and Zizek Shockworm. I'll discard the containment field, and I will Mars first to ready and reap with the Stormcrawler. I'll say check with six and your turn I will draw six. Say dis I will mark a dis the shock worm. I will play a break key. I'll play a brabble. And then yeah. I'll forge. All right, so I have to say bars. So I'll put my archives into my hand. Um, I am going to play a Xanthix Harvester. I am going to um, Hypnotic Command 3 onto the Brabble. Ugh. The um, Shockworm will fight the Brabble. I will reap with Stormcrawler. Um... And then I will just sit. 
and I will draw one. Go ahead. All right, I'll say shadows. I will play a vandalize. Uh, I only had um, only had the one after playing the harvester. I only had the one uh, Mars card in my hand that I held. If anybody's paying attention. Play red penny. I will look over there. The harvester and steal one. Play a demo thief. Your turn. All right. I will say Mars. I am going to reap with Xanthix Harvester. I'm going to reap with the Shockworm. I'm going to reap with the Stormcrawler. I am um, going to Orbital Bombardment and show you Martian Generosity to shoot the Rad Penny. Then I am going to generosity for uh, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Shuffle and draw four more. Yep. We're leaning. Might be a, a 30 minute stream. <laughs> All right, and four more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's stupid. <laughs> yeah. I tried. This one's for Merkins. I purged, like, I discarded two cards and analyzed one. It's not much else I can do. Yeah, hopefully it'll lure a winner. <laughs> Shouldn't feel too bad about that. I will play uh, Glixel Proliferator. Uh, I'm going to hit not command four onto the Demo Thief. Uh, I'm going to mother gun for two to blow up the demo thief. I am going to Mars first, the proliferator to ready and reap, archive the generosity. Um, and then I'll just play the Mars needs it. And it is your turn. So you check with seven. All right, I'll say Logos. I can't remember redacted. I'll effervescent. <laughs> All right, I lose three. Play Ivan and Infomorph. Your turn. I am going to say Mars. Put my archives into my hand. I'll do some counting. I got three cards there. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards there. So that's a total of 12 cards. So I reap with the storm crawler and then a generosity. I draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Um, that goes that all this is gone. Uh, all right. Sorry, I organized it. All right, I am going to hypnotic command all of that onto Even Ivan. Um, I'm going to exterminate Even Ivan with extreme prejudice using the mother gun showing you five. I will um, 
orbital bombardment and show you two to take out the infomorph. I will reap with the proliferator and archive generosity. I will Mars first to ready and reap with the proliferator and archive the hypnotic command. And then I will Mars first ready and reap with the proliferator and archive a Mars first. And I will say check with seven. Your turn. All right, I'll say this. I'll play Furnace. Urging Orbital Bombardment and Mars first. I'll play Skixino. You know. My Martians. I'll get some counters. Uh, so five. Yep. Thank you, Lord Farquaad. 20 months. You put her on. Thank you so much. <laughs> much appreciated. Appreciate that. 20 months. All right, I'll put the archives into my hand. I will. Uh, got four there. Sand Mars. Now generosity, all of this. Thank you for that follow, Day Changdom. Appreciate it. Uh, Skixino is a six. I'll mother gun Skixino to death. I will play all of these Martians you killed. They're back. Snuggles. Will play Mars needs Amber. I will Mars first to ready and reap with the proliferator. And I will archive the generosity. It's your turn. Wow. Okay, I'll say logos. Get a counter redacted. I will play Cyberclone and draw a card. I will purge the proliferator. I'll play Titan Engineer and Infomorph. New plan is activate redacted three times. <laughs> oh, I have uh, Humex. Okay, I'll play Humex as well. Okay. All right. I am. Um going to say Brobnar. I'm going to play War Chest. I am going to play Rock Hurling Giant. I am going to play Bramo. I am going to play Wallop. I'm going to Ganger Chieftain the Wallop into the Titan. And I am going to play Oozle. I'm going to hurl Coward's End at Infomorph. I am going to play uh, Drummer Knot, Bounce, Bramo. I will play Bramo. I will play Ganger Chieftain, that's two. Ready and Reap with Drummer Knot on three. Bounce the Ganger Chieftain. Play Ganger Chieftain 3, ready and reap 3 with Drummer Knot, bounce the Chieftain, play the Chieftain, Drummer Knot, that's 4, bounce, play 5, 5 on the Drummer Knot, bounce, play um, uh, 6 on the Drummer Knot, bouncing the Ganger Chieftain, where it will sit in my hand. So you check with 8. It is your turn. Alright, say Shadows. Play a spike trap. I'll play two dark waves. Okay. Um, Harvester, Shockworm are dead. Bramo takes three. Crawler takes three. Giant takes four. Play Bo. Play Rizzo. Uh, Wallop takes four. 
Ganger takes four. Oozle takes four. Drummer not takes four. Okay. I needed three dark waves. My turn. Yeah. A forge. Yep. I will. It actually probably makes more sense to play bow and then dark wave, so I'm shuffling him. Oh, uh, yeah. So you have a chance to draw him. Yeah. Not that that's going to change the outcome of the game. All right. I am going to say Brobnar. I'm going to first blood Reckless Rizzo oh, with the entire might of the Brobnarian army. Uh, I'm going to reap with Bramo. I'm going to reap with Rock Hunting Giant. I'm going to reap with Lola and Ganger Chieftain. And Foozle, who's going to gain two. And Drummer Knot, who's going to bounce this Ganger Chieftain. Who I'm going to play, and that's two on each of them. And three, or it's two now on Drummer Knot. And then Ganger Chieftain. We'll do that a couple times. Uh, get to 12. I don't think you can stop me if I'm at 13. So I'll go to 13. And bounce the Ganger Chieftain. And it's your turn. Okay. I'll lose. I'll say Logos. I'll forge a key. I'll play Q-Max. Oh, that's it. Okay. Uh, I think Jackfeet has to get lucky with purging and the discarding. And discarding to win this matchup. Yeah. There's no amount of playing Jackfeet that would help it beat that. If he can hit cards and he's hit, though, it's, it's certainly possible. You denied me. You denied me the Merkins highlights. Did deny a Merkins highlight. Yeah, we're best of three. Yeah. This deck ends up being sorted into all of its houses. Yeah. Everyone lean. So you lean back. <laughs> You can lean left, you can lean right, but as long as you're leaning backwards. Down page is one game away from the title. Within its grasp. You lean too far, now you're on the floor. Please help. <laughs> uh, we can't, can't do anything about that. That's a, that is a known um, risk you take yeah. when you lean. If all of your friends leaned on a bridge, yes, yeah, your hands were really bad. I mean, maybe like maybe I really, really don't play creatures unless the I George Strat. absolutely have to. Uh, most of them just killing them the same turn. I don't know. Um, it's hard. You have a lot of it's. It's there's no auto encoder, right? It's no secret needle. Uh, I didn't have to play that Bravo there, right? I didn't have to play that Demo Thief. And those are the things that you really rip a lot of amber away from. Yeah, there were there were creatures that you wanted the destroyed effects from, right? Yeah. So the Brabble I super didn't need to play because he didn't have any amber after that. Um, it kind of also depends on Justin's hand. Yeah. Sometimes you need creatures on the board just to stop the drummer knot combo from happening, right? And Jack Pete likes having like non disc creatures on the board when I had two Dominator Bobbles in the table, yeah. right? So Yeah, it it's, likes it likes getting ancillary value from the Dominator Bobbles. It's tough to say. It has to reap to win for the most part. It it's gonna steal a lot mm -hmm. and it's gonna get a key off or adapted, but it doesn't really burst amber not effectively. Is he running in his sleep? A little bit. I think he's chasing something in his sleep. Oh, we stopped. He's kind of still going. Still going. Because he knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, if you don't play creatures down for the Confage or for the Mars stuff, uh, then Ganger not just to happen, right? I feel like that's the way I beat Dave in the glorious. Points won't reset till uh, after the, uh, till Dark Tidings. The glorious few, um, he left a random creature on the table. I was able to hit uh, command some on, keep him off his key. Or Mars needs Amber, one or the other. 
the amber points. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll be whenever Dark Tidings comes out, I think. We'll yep. reset it. Start fresh for that tournament. Which is at least a month and some change away. So, give some time. Maybe they'll say something about Keyforge in the next month on yeah. Fantasy Flight. They're 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 putting like one post out a day about something no one cares about. Yeah, or just like telling you they, that Destiny is dead again. They they straight up they they were like they killed everything to do with Destiny. They basically said from this point forward, Destiny is done on Twitter the other day. So, all right, ten. Yeah, oh, you're going first. Yeah. Um. Mm, not the worst, but I'll mulligan it. Some advertising. I feel like there's people who want to get into a new game. Um. Now, I've seen several posts from people um getting into keyboard recently on the keyboard subreddit, uh, so that's pretty cool. I watched uh the professors. The five mistakes Magic made this year, or like the five worst things Magic did this year, and that was a great video. Because you uh, basically, um, I think I think there's like people who are looking for a game that can like fill that Magic role. It's not gonna ever take the place of Magic for them, right? But um, there were ten cards banned in Standard this year. That's so crazy, and that's not including. <laughs> the companions effectively being banned by them eroding the way companions worked, right? So um, you basically had 20 cards removed from standard this year. Um, and that's the mo that that is that was more than was banned during affinity. And um, it's it's even crazier when you go back and you look at the timeline because like from 2000, which is like when I got into Magic with Invasion. Um, when Invasion came out through Affinity, which was a roughly five years, there were no bannings in Standard. From Affinity to Jace the Mind Sculptor and Stoneforge Mystic was like six years. It was like 2011 is when they got banned. And then from 2011 to 2016, you had no bannings. So in like a 15 year period, uh yeah in a 15 year period you had two effective bannings and then sure. 17 18 19 and 20 have all had bannings in standard um and it's just one of those where you're like what happened like where where did they change their mind so i should watch uh his best of right i'm i'm always like for poo pooing on magic um Okay, so this is the kind I think this is the kind of hand that Confage can lose with. Um I think I, I have to like I have to make like some bizarro plays here. Alright, so I'm gonna say Shadows. I'm gonna play Dusk Chronicles and I oh, was, oh yeah, you're good. Um am going to archive a card. And I will draw three. So goes, I'll play a Redacted, I'll play Even Ivan and Infowar. Uh, what if Martian Generosity gets banned? I don't really see them banning anything. I don't think you should ban anything into Keyforge. Like, yeah, they, they've eroded yeah. stuff. Yeah, they've eroded stuff. Uh, I don't know that I think Martian Generosity around. is only really egregious in a handful of decks. Yeah, I do think Confage is one of those decks, but um. Uh, if you look at the rest of Mars, I mean, the thing with like bait and switch, the thing with like library access was like library access plus the pen seed and like phase shift meant you just got to play whatever you wanted in your deck, and that's kind of legitimate, right? So, uh, Mars exactly is yet to win an Archon right. tour. How, right. However, we haven't had one for a year. Yeah, but but, but but still, there were plenty of vault tours. From when and there's uh, a lot of AOA vault tours. AOA came out. I mean, yeah, right, right, <sighs> yeah, right, right. And I can't see it. And the thing is, uh, by the time if Vault Warriors ever happens, and that's a huge if at this point, just just me reading, just me reading the runes 
right? I, I'm not sure Vault Warriors will ever actually happen at this point. Um, uh, I'm going to say Brothnar. I'll discard Cowards in. I'll play Brammo and put a Blood of the Titans on it. Um, but I'll draw. Go ahead. I'll say Shadows. I will play a Red Penny. Draw and steal. Um, I'm going to play a Vandalize. Yeah, the, and the, the, the closest AOA came to uh, winning a Vault Tour was with um, Grump Buggy, discarding Ganger Chieftain. I will play Dama Thief. I'll play Opportunist. Yeah, the Owl Shark deck. That deck was sweet. It was like um, it was like uh, Iron Obelisk and it was a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, it was, it was a really cool deck. All right, I'm gonna say Shadows. I'm gonna play Dipnos Spy Master. I'm gonna Ubli at that Rad Penny, uh, and then I'll just play a Two Master Protect. Oh, every time. Yeah, it's your turn. I'll draw three. All right, I'll say this. Yeah. Play Inspector. Yeah. Play a Bravel. Play Break Key. Play Pain Reaction on the Spy Master. Dead. Use Game of Thief to Reap. And that is it. I'll say check with six. All right. What happened in game one? Confage did confage stuff. Yep. With gusto. Yep. Um. Why well, leaned? Let me tell you. I leaned. Um, okay. I am going to say uh, Brobnar, and I'll put my archives in my hand. Bramo is going to fight uh, Brabble. Okay. So that explodes. Yeah, let's go. I am going to play Rock Hurling Giant. Going to hurl specifically uh, I feel like this is like a this is like a sequencing this is like a sequencing problem. Sequencing puzzle? Yeah. Uh I'm going to Ganger Chieftain Bramo into the infomorph. And then drummer not back the ganger. So that's one for each. I'm going to ganger the drummer into demo thief. Okay. Elusive. It's two each. Bounce the ganger. Play the ganger. Drummer not into the demo thief. That is three each. Bouncing the ganger. Um, now I am going to uh, throw the rock at even Ivan. And then four on the Ganger Chieftain Drummer Knot into Imp Spectre. This could hurt. Um, it's not pivotal to my game plan, but uh, there's one I really don't want to lose. There's one I'd rather not lose, and there's one not great to lose. I'd rather not lose that one. Um, Good night, Command. All right, so that was four each. 
Bounce the Ganger Chieftain, play the Ganger Chieftain, ready Dramanaut, reap on five. Um, bouncing the Ganger Chieftain. Um, and then on six, but uh, I think I just gotta play the Ganger Chieftain here. I'll play the Ganger Chieftain to ready Rock Curling Giant and reap. Okay. And uh, and actually there was like an argument to bounce the Brama. I will draw four. Good. Forge. I'll say this. I'm going to play a Brabble and a Skixino. Okay. So I lose one. All the Brabdar are dead. Five counters. Felt like you had the board wipe because that's what you were debating. I did hold the Brabble, yeah. That's what you were debating on the, the previous turn. Okay. I am going to say Brabnar. I'll play first blood. And I will play Signal Fire. And it is your turn. I will draw to you. Go ahead. I'll say Logos. I'll get our, our counter redacted. I will Effervescent. Yep. Play Munchling. Play Diametric Charge. Your turn. Um, to a creature. Oh, uh, I guess I'll do that first. Just get Xeno. Okay. And play Munchling. Okay. I am going to say Shadows. I'm going to play Gamgee. I will Nerve Blast the Munchling. Um, and then I guess I just discard that Nerve Blast because uh, you don't have any other Amber for me. And I will draw three. Go ahead. May I? Your Archive. My Archive? I mean, your uh, discard. discard. Yeah, no Mars cards in here. He's got no Mars cards, folks, in the discard pile. That's that is terrifying. Um, so yeah, you play comp phase. No Mars cards. Okay, I'll say shadows. I will look over there, in my skicks, you know, to steal one. I'll play a red penny and steal one. I'll play a dark wave. Damage to skicks, you know. And your turn. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. Count cards. Count cards is always a uh, good sign, right? Okay. Um, it's that easy. I'll say Mars. I'll play Stormcrawler. I'll play Xanthix Harvester. We're going to Mars yeah, first. Yeah, I'm auto there. Auto would have been really good. <laughs> uh, Mars first, the um, Xanthix Harvester to ready and reap. And then Generosity for 10. Is that the rest of the deck? No. It's not the rest of the deck. Not okay. the rest of the deck. That's good. It's all but the last two. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow. Proliferators in the bottom too. And the mother gun. Um yeah. I am going to uh Mars needs amber. And then I am going to orbital bombardment. Show you three. Skixino is six power and mostly. Kill all three if you want. Um, I think I leave Rad Penny, but I'll kill the other. Sure. Uh, I'll play Xanthix Harvester. I am going to discard Containment Field. And then I am going to Mars first, be ready and reap with the Xanthix Harvester. Seven, and it is your turn. Say so check with seven. All right, I'll say this. I will dominate to reap. Brad Penny, Un I unbelievable. Play gateway. Draw. I'll play a bobble. I'll play a furnace. All right. I definitely get Martian generosity. A thousand percent. I. My rationale at this point is that he can't purge my whole discard pile, and all I gotta do is sh shuffle back through, maybe. 
So if I get Drummer Knot, that takes the combo out of the picture. Like you forge a key, which isn't a huge deal. If I get TMTP, I don't know that I super care about that. I think getting Drummer Knot is just too good. Well, I can. Uh, yeah. Yeah, make him play fair. There are two gangers, is the thing. So yeah, there's two gangers. I would have to get the drummer. All right, your turn. Okay, I'll forge. I am. We officially are playing key forge now. Uh, going to say shadows. He did just draw ten cards. And now I'm chained, so. Um, I there's no. Uh, I'll play Merkins. Subtle auto. Ah, this is this is where, if we weren't a family stream, I'd flip them off. <laughs> yeah, that's a medium discard. All right, I will. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna play Bad Penny here. No, she died. You still got Dark. How many Dark Waves? You've played one? Um, could have another Dark Wave. Well, sorry, Bad Penny. Discard you. I'll play a Gamgee. Um, I'll play this Dusk Chronicles. Uh, there's not really a way, so I'll draw. draw, yeah. draw. Hey, the Proliferator. What do you know? Right on time, guy. <laughs> Um, and it is your turn. I'll draw one, then shuffle and draw one more. TTR after dark. Just the solo Nathan streams. Yeah. Or if you were Monka. listening to any of our Discord conversations ever. On the OnlyFans. Yeah, you get special recordings. <laughs> uh, I'll say Logos. I'll get a redacted counter. I'll play Cyberclone and Purge Gamgee and draw. Play an Infomorph. Your turn. Um... I am going to say Brobnar. I'm going to play War Chest and Foozle. Your turn. Two. I'll say Dis. I'm going to mark of Dis to Foozle. I will send Infomorph. I'll send. I was like two. I'll send Infomorph into the. I will. I'm going to reap with Cyberclone. I'll reap with Infernus. I'll play first blood. Go ahead. All right. Have I talked today about how much I hate Mark of this? Play this or play shadows. All right. I'll play. I'll play logos. I'll get counter redacted. I will play new dynamo smoko. And reap with the clone. And your turn. Okay, I am uh, going to say. Um, I have to say. Crap, I'm lost. Um, I have to say shadows and swindle. And pray you don't have a Nova Dynamo. And it's your turn to draw one. No, uh, I mean it doesn't win right now. You would you would have won had I not stopped that. Yeah, did you not stop that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, I'll say logos. I'll Novi Dynamo. Oh uh, yeah, I have the engineer. It's probably right to just play shadows here. Yeah, it's right. Just I'll play. A bow. Yeah. Imagine imagine I hit the proliferator. Um 
Yeah, it's a totally it was, different game. It was that. It was that close, right? Because I can archive the generosity, and I'm totally fine. Play Dark Wave. That's all dead. That's game. Okay. I don't have anything to stop you from here. We okay. I also lost the hypnotic command to the uh, imp specter. I had two other Martian cards in my hand at the time, so yeah. Deck feet showing. There's no mistake that it's here. Yeah. Confage hasn't dropped a game for a long time. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. Right. I did it drop a game this tournament. Uh, I don't think so. I, I don't it's think like it two out everybody. I don't think it dropped a game. Yeah. I I think. So I feel like you stole and you destroyed as much amber as you could have throughout that whole game. And I know that's like the game plan, but I feel like if you if you miss even one amber in that yeah. in there anywhere, um, I win the game. That's, so that is Jack Feats though. The, the pot was fifteen hundred amber. Yeah, it is not lost. That's the first game it's lost, so that's yeah. cool at least. Fifteen hundred amber. Wow. It was a uh, fifteen sixty two or something like that. Game three. This is for every marble. Every single marble. This is this being the marble. <laughs> it's actually a big marble. A big marble. Yeah. Uh, that game was close. Despite what the final score says. It was definitely close. I had five Martian cards, otherwise I would have tried to have taken a uh, a turn off. It's a Ronnie Risk Rock. It's role play. <laughs> You've given him so much power. Game one wasn't really close. <sighs> Game one was definitely not close. All right. Hope people don't mind if Ronnie steps in. It's a shame this deck doesn't have a Ronnie. This deck would go. This deck would go Super Saiyan with a Ronnie. Oh no! I'm Voltor moded. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. I'm gonna go pee. Somebody ready cam for you. He's gonna leave. He's gonna walk. No, no, Eddie, don't leave. He's too tired. Bet 10. Change places! Go ahead and uh, swap. This is a deeply tired dog. <laughs> we tried that once. Justin, neither of us are very good at the other person's shtick. Give him some pets now. I will. I will pet Eddie. The day that he does not bark at a do car door three houses down. Did we? Are we that, changing places? Yeah, we are changing places. Okay. That is the day I will pet Eddie. I I didn't prepare the title of the deck layout for this, <laughs> this possibility. So uh, you're just gonna have to deal with the fact that uh, the things are wrong. It still says yeah, our names, yeah. right? So the name of the person under the deck who's playing the deck. Did he get the treat, or did you already give him the treat? Uh, I did not give him the treat. Can you hit that A button? Nope. Sure can't. You hold it. Okay. Okay, use it. Sure can't do that. Won't be doing that. The way I... <laughs> Let's see. I, I, I don't even stay in frame on my own chair and I don't know Justin's alignment. Been saving points for change places. <laughs> it's basically counterspelling somebody else's counterspell. It's very confusing. You've never wanted anything as badly as you want Jackie to <laughs> have the belt. I would uh Jackie is certainly more vulnerable with the belt than Confage is, I think. Three. I cannot win a roll. Confage loves going first. Mm. But Jackfeed has a chance. Jackfeed's it's just resilient. I don't know. Uh it's not infallible. We know that for sure. This hand is close, but I got a mulligan. That last game taught me anything. 
a lot of holdbacks in my box of masturbation and have no one to play with. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, get uh, get on uh, TCO. Yeah, play on some TCO. Um, if you are you like brand new to Keyforge, or uh, are you familiar with the uh, the popular discords for Keyforge? Because um, you can find a lot of games that way. I know it's not um, the same as playing in person. It is not the same as playing in person. Obviously, we play in person more than that, but and it's I, a I'm, good proxy. I think TCO is better when you play against people that you know and yeah. you're like aligned in your goals. You're like, I want to try a goofy deck and have fun with it, play a deck you have fun with, and you're not playing against somebody's like three bow knighting double safe house deck. You know, like, then you're going to have fun. Um, so. Lost lost everything. Everything. Yeah, yeah, that's why that's why it's best. Uh, to play yeah, I would um, um see if you can find some people that want to play adaptive and whatnot. I think you can learn a lot. Also, I found um, that if so. you play a lot of people don't know this, and Dave is the one that pointed this out to me, is like if you play in the competitive queue, you're mm -hmm. more likely to play a fun game against someone who's not yeah. being a D bag to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, Interesting, interestingly enough, I haven't played against a lot of super sweaty decks in the computer yeah. competitive queue. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of people out there who are looking for games. Um so um we've got a Discord and then from there you can probably segue into some of the other Discords. Um there's a lot of like leagues and stuff that yeah, are pretty fun to play. For sure. Yeah, in my experience the competitive queue is more chill. Dad is learning Keyforge. That's awesome. EDQ abridged? Uh probably. I think Aurora has taken stabs at rewriting those articles. Or Some like of them, yeah, are trying people. to like put them put them into. We um, do talk strategy a little bit in our uh, learning the game video. Yeah. Just saying, I know it's a little long. Yeah, I didn't realize our video was going to be an hour long. However, I think if you want to like, oh my if you're like, if you've played a game or or I I don't I think people learn differently. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so I think I think there's there I think there are players who would want our type of video where we're just like combing over all of the details. Are the discords in your Discord? No, but I'm sure someone can link the. Yeah, yeah, you Discord. can just ask around for the sanctimonious one. The ancient bear republic one has like a um, a league that is either wrapping up. They there's um, and you can just kind of jump from there. So yeah. <laughs> That's too bad. Oh, <laughs> yeah. When is uh, the strange? Do you mean darker dark tidings? Uh, dark tidings. They said a while back that February is the planned release month. Yes. We haven't really heard anything since then, so we'll yeah. see. Some distributors, people are saying, say March, which March is okay. February obviously is ideal. All right, here we go. Game three. TGR Championship. This is it. You can turn off it again. Oh, yeah. No. No, they have to watch Eddie. Oh, yeah. I'm, and I'm Ronnie. And you're VT. I am VT. Yeah. This is it, boys. Zip straighter. All right. I will <laughs> say Shadows. Play a Demo Thief. Ready. My turn. I have four cards. I will draw two cards. <laughs> All right. Right, yeah. <laughs> not even close. already cheated. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's that's yeah, acceptable. Well, Ronnie, uh, Ronnie admires his grit. I did not look. So it's yeah. an acceptable cheat. You can make a mistake there. Yeah. All right, well, Ronnie. Is going to say Robnar. Ronnie is going to play a wallop and a Ganger chieftain, and Wallop's going to fight the Demo Thief. Elusive will stop anything from happening. Ronnie's going to finish with his turn and draw three. Uh, okay. I'll say Shadows. I will... Oh boy. <laughs> this is an awkward turn. To be honest. Standard tabletop things that follow. Appreciate that. Pretty awk turn. Awk. Pretty much awk AF. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right, I'll say shadows. I, I think I have to. Um, I will reap with the demo thief in amber. I'll play a red penny and draw a card. I will play dark wave. Play another dark wave. I will look over there, kill the Ganger Chieftain. I will play an Opportunist, Rad Penny. And I'm done. All right. Ronnie's going to say Shadows. Ronnie's going to play Dusk Chronicles and draw a card. Ronnie is going to play Nerve Blast. Shoot Rad Penny. Much rather kill the Dame of Thieves there, but um, I also Rad Penny gone. Oh, and Ronnie's gonna play Dipno Spy Master. Ronnie is finished. Ronnie's gonna draw two. <laughs> Code of Ravnar is pretty sweet. It can be really bad sometimes, but Code of Ravnar is really fun. Yeah. Anyway, Ravnar has some this sweet. Plays those sweet uh, compositions, even <laughs> without even forgetting about ganger not combo. That's a sweet composition. Okay, I think I think like one of the worst sins about Worlds Collide Brobnar is that it is worse in every possible aspect than Coda Brobnar, right? Yeah, AOA Brobnar was different. It has higher like potential, probably lower average, um, and some of the cards are like super specific. Like for instance, into the fray, um, is so. Yeah, might make fright is awesome. I'll say this. I'll pain reaction the dipe no. I will play a break key, and I'm done. Okay. Ronnie is gonna say Brobnar. Um, Ronnie is gonna reap with Lollop. I do know I'm in Voltor mode. This is what I do in Voltors when people are comboing on me. <laughs> Ronnie's gonna play a drummer nut, bouncing the Lollop. Ronnie's gonna play a Lollop. Uh, Ronnie's not comboing. Okay. Ronnie's playing Rock Hurling Giant, and Ronnie is discarding Brambo because Ronnie would let you forge a key. You wanna. You'd have to do damage to uh, right? May deal. May deal, okay. Yeah. And Ronnie is finished. Ronnie is drawing three. I will say this. I'll play Implosion to kill Drummer Knot and deal one. And I'll play as Kixuno. Say check with seven. Four, four cards. Ronnie's saying shadows. Ronnie believes in the heart of the cards. Dang. Get one. Ronnie's playing Gamgee. Ronnie's nerve blasting Skixuno. Okay. Uh, Skixuno is dead. Oh, he's dead. I was just displaying the amount of damage it took to kill him. Ronnie is drawing three. I will forge at the start of my turn. Ronnie, Ronnie does not like the way this game is panning out, apparently. I'm going to say Logos. Like Umex and draw a card. Effervescent Principle. Yes. I need this. Gain one chain. Lose two Amber. Play an Even Ivan. Infomorph, a Nobu Dynamo, and an Infomorph. That is my turn. Drop a chain and draw four. Ronnie is going to say... Uh, Ronnie is going to say... Mars? 
Ronnie is going to play Xanthix Harvester and Shockworm. Ronnie is going to discard Hypnotic Command. And Ronnie is finished. Ronnie's going to draw three. Possibly the worst turn I've ever seen. Not page take. Yeah, Ronnie knows. Uh, start my turn. Ronnie's well aware. Start my turn. I'm going to swap harvest. Yes, you're correct. Let the that. dynamo die. I'm going to call Logos. Play Redacted. I will fight the Shockworm. I will fight the Harvester. I will steal one with Eden Ivan. Umex will reap. Four cards. I'll draw two. Uh, Ronnie is going to say Mars. Ronnie's going to play Mother Gun. Ronnie's going to play Mars Needs Amber. Ronnie is going to play Glixel Proliferator. Ronnie held Glixel Proliferator because Ronnie did not want to play the Glixel Proliferator into the full board on the previous turn. And then Ronnie is going to Mars first the Proliferator to ready and reap and archive a card. Um, Ronnie is archiving. Ronnie is archiving Hypnotic. Actually, Ronnie is going to archive Mars Needs Amber. No, looks like the, the pirate. Thank you for that Prime subscription. And Prime Gaming. Ronnie is finished. Ronnie's going to draw four. Uh, I will say, I'm going to say Logos, I'm get a counter on Redacted. I will fight the proliferator. Do you want to even Ivan before? I do not. Okay. I'm going to fight Merkins. I'm going to reap even Ivan. I'm going to reap with Qmex. I'm gonna just for this key. Okay. Because uh generosity ammo. And I feel like you've been building up to it. It's it's getting close. Uh, Ronnie is going to say uh Mars. Ronnie's gonna put his archives into his hand. Ronnie is going to Mother Gun, even Ivan for four. Ronnie's gonna play Stormcrawler and a containment field. <laughs> and the Mars needs Amber. And Mars first, the Stormcrawler. Ronnie's finished. Ronnie's gonna draw three. The disc. I'll play a Dominator Bobble. Thanks for follow. Symbiotics. Much appreciated. Uh, I'm going to play an Imp Specter, a Brabble, and an Infernus. Let's see. I definitely get Mars first. I think I get Hypnotic Command. Maybe? Get back through the deck. I get Mars, the other Mars first, you can't archive the generosity over. That's something. Not a command lets you dump here that much. I'm gonna go the other Mars first. Okay. Also blows up two Amber. That's potentially two less cards. Uh, Four. Drummer was also a consideration too, but we'll see. Your turn. I want to make it hard for him to hit the the generosity here because he's out to he's out to Mars first now the the whatever the thing that gains extra ammo when it reaps so he, he's not gonna have an easy time bursting in Mars right now I thought uh, all right um 
Ronnie is gonna say shadows. Ronnie's gonna oubliette the imp specter. Hmm. Ronnie's gonna play Gamgee. And other Gamgee's gonna reap. I'm gonna tell you to go ahead. Ronnie's gonna draw two. Uh, I'm gonna say shadows. Play red penny and draw steel. Play spike trap. Play some auto. Discarding blood of the titans. Okay. I'll play Red Penny and Steel. I love that card. I'm done. Really loathe that card. All right, let's think through this. Um, I think this is a shadows turn i'm gonna reap with gamgee and then i'm gonna reap with gamgee and i'm gonna take what was taken from me and it is your turn i will draw one go ahead i will take that which was taken from me uh, i'm gonna say dis i'm sorry i'm gonna say shadows i will Fight Gamgee. Uh, they're elusive. Fight Gamgee. They're elusive. Still elusive. No, no, no. Same, the same one twice. Okay. Well, the first red penny wouldn't die. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's fine. Uh, so fight, fight, fight to kill. And that red penny we could shuffle. Oh, this is the one I want to shuffle. I will then spike trap. Okay. I will play a Vandalize and draw a card. All right, it's hard too much to protect. I will play bow and steal one. And that is my turn. I'll draw one. Didn't sound very Ronnie like. I don't know. <laughs> the Ronnie here plays die. <laughs> Ronnie, Ron, Ronnie's kind of playing seriously right now. Ronnie's got a lot riding on this game. Okay, Ronnie is is uh, Ronnie's back into a corner, and nobody backs Ronnie into a corner. All right. Um, Ronnie's gonna say Brobnar. Ronnie is gonna play Signal Fire. Ronnie is going to play Foozle. Ronnie is going to ganger into, no, Ronnie is, Ronnie is not playing these. It's best of three still. I played the Vandalize last because I wanted to use the draw to get one of the rat pennies possibly and get to, that would let me uh, threaten. Ronnie is pitching ganger, fusel, and cowards in. Ronnie is Ronnie's taking a look at this. Gorlami with the prime. Thank you so much. Yeah, you you got marked this. Okay, Ronnie's pitching all that. Ronnie is drawing four. I'll say logos. I'll get a car a counter. I will play Cyberclone and purge the Stormcrawler and Play a Munchling, Titan Engineer, Reap with Qmex. I have Bridges Destroyed. I am done. I say check with six. Draw two. 
All right. It's now or never, Ronnie. Now or never, Ronnie. Ronnie's gonna say Mars. Ronnie's gonna orbital bombardment and show you one. Ronnie's gonna kill in furnace. Ronnie's gonna play generosity for 12. We're gonna draw one and then shuffle and draw 12, 11 more. Because if he marks me in a Brobnar, I lose on the spot. I have to have like the best. I have to have an incredible Martian generosity here. Uh, destroy the malls not in that deck. I wish. I yeah. wish it was. In this that would deck. be really instead of a Kamen Field. This I deck, think, like that's I, the ideal. This right? this. Yeah, the containment field containment field could be literally any other card. Yeah. I think um if uh, a hypno beam, a collector worm, honestly I would take one more Martian creature. I can't like uh key abduction, I, I so the thing about all the other all the Mars cards in this deck, is they do something. Um and key abduction would do nothing in this deck except let me win whenever I generosity off. But um it would only get one key is the thing. I would win eventually. I would never have to have Amber or Rotor. So I guess you could, so, or you could archive it with uh, Proliferator Mars 1, first. 1, 2, 3, 4, so. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. It's got to be good. I drew just enough to stay in the game. Judge, 11? Did you, drew tw did you draw 12 there? I, draw, I drew 12. Off the redraw? No, I put the okay. one from it into See, the twelve. Chat, chat thought you were cheating. Tell them to get, put them in their place. <laughs> Stay in the chat, chat. All right, I am going to. No, I discard. I did purge the Mars first, so. Um, I'm mother, glad I did. Uh, mother gun, the Titan engineer for three. And then I will Mars needs Amber. And Rock's finished. All right, I will. I don't want to get marked to dist. Say yeah, uh, fair. I will say Shadows. Play a Rad Penny. Play a Reckless Rizzo. Oh. And check with seven. Okay. Okay, I am going to say shadows. I will TMTP. I am going to nerve blast Rizzo. I am going to Dusk Chronicles. And draw. I am going to play the MG. I'm going to Merkins your archive and draw. And I'll discard Bad Penny I'll Dust Chronicles for nothing. Could have sequenced that slightly better to if... All right, your turn. I'll say Shadows. No. Say Logos. I will
really do about Wendell. Um, fight Gamgee, fight Gamgee, discard Smoko to gain one. Will. Is it? Is it seven? Okay, I am gonna say shadows, and I will swindle. I debated holding the Merkins for a turn, but I think it would just end up stranded in the hand. Yeah, because you didn't have a deck. I couldn't let Rizzo just sit there. I feel like it could have won the second game without Redacted. I'm not convinced it would have won the second game without Redacted. I'm not convinced it would win this game without Redacted. Because he only has to forge two keys, and I have to forge all three. Uh, I'll say dis. Play... Bramble, play it on bubble. Dominator is a munchling to fight Mercs. Start a dynamo to gain one. I will reap with Brabble. I will. Mark of Dis, my Brabble. Oh. Be done. Okay, I'll forge. For seven. And then I'll lose. Okay. Because the Brobnar doesn't have any amber control. I could take a pretty good Brobnar turn by playing Rock Curling Giant and throwing a lot of rocks, but um, I don't have any amber control on Brobnar. I needed to get back to the hypnotic command. I could not. Uh, the purging was too much. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks, chat. It sucks. I'm turning heel. Mr. Jack. This is my heel turn. <laughs> Mr. Jack feet done. Oh. Did everybody up. It Man. Threw, it threw the first game. It got beat down the first game in true babyface fashion. The. Um, the perfect commander. That game, that game, I could not string together cards in this deck in that game. Yeah, we've been through so swerve. Could not string together cards. The TTR belt yeah. on a pole match. I won that game by a lot, Farquad. Thank you. <laughs> Stop the steal. <laughs> I won that game by a lot. Wizard random, 200 bits. 20k uh, points immediately cash in the rematch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here we go. Stupid Pershing. In fairness, I, so I lost the cards I hate, by the way. That game, that, those were cards I hated. I lost to Infernus. I lost Stupid Hand Discard. I lost to the threat of Mark of Dis, right? I had to just throw stuff so I wouldn't just lose the game on the spot. So, Thank you, Yo-Yo Why Fair did I kill Infernus? Uh, Jack Feet Bounces. Uh, I had to get his board clear if I wanted to combo off with Brobnar stuff. And I needed his board clear. I should have, honestly, I should have just, um, well, so the problem that actually, uh, I ran into a problem with the Brabbles there because the Brabbles were going to blow up too much. I had the Coward's End and perhaps I should have just Coward's End the table. The situation I was in is that he had enough creatures on the table so he could just threaten every turn, which meant I had to play my answers and... Um, so I had to stop him for the rest of the game, um, and, uh, I couldn't actually get ahead at that point, right? So. Yeah. yeah. There you have it. Mr. Jackfeet is our TTR the inaugural champion. Yep. It's... And everyone's excited about it, but Nathan. <laughs> let Nate, let Jackfeet have its moment, Nathan. This is a little deck yeah, that could... I won't. Admit oh, well, you haven't heard the last of me, chat. <laughs>
You haven't heard the last of Cotphage. It beats you fair and square. There was no rigged votes. You just gotta it accept uses, it. It uses mechanics I despise. It uses vile hand discard. It reached under the table and pulled out purging. It was loading its its uh, tennis racket and beating you with it. Ugh. The ultimate perfect commander. That's definitely yeah. an upset. Yeah. Very cool though. I'm I'm happy that Jack Feet won. Yeah, uh, I mean Jack Feet I think was one of the mass mutation decks that like you couldn't pick out of a lineup. No. At yeah. The beginning. I mean, and then um, it went on to just like smash through that tournament too. Yeah, we should have stopped the count for the first game. I mean, there's one game. There's no more games yeah. after that. It won the first game, so how could it possibly lose the next exactly. two? Exactly. Brent, thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate all the bits and the support. Thank you so much. Uh, Let's that, switch back to our seats. Yeah. I'm mostly I'm mostly mad at the mechanics I had to play against, more so than Confage losing, I think. Because I really... Oh, God, I hate those mechanics. Anyway. The belt is now firmly <sighs> around the waist of Mr. Jackfeet, the perfect commander. I want to say those games were sweatier than the light task. Yes, game. they probably were. I think that game was sweatier. Yeah. Because I think there was there was way less randomness um, in the light tasker confage games, right? Um, Jackfeet, it's like, do I hit the thing, right? Yeah. Like, you're, you're like, can I hit the thing? So. Game, game I, I feel like my draw in game two was fine. My draw in game three was awful was straight off i had to hold cards um that i didn't want to hold because i would lose the game if i played them at the wrong time right we're gonna close the bracket now oh yeah we'll see who uh correctly. i think we're giving away top three okay i believe is how it shook out page has one game win boom jack feet Mr. Jackfeet. Too perfect. The Tabletop Royale 2020 Championship with six wins. And uh, Echo, the Legend of Zelda prediction, did win the <laughs> bracket. Uh, it had, it's tied for points. Okay. Um, and But picked three games better. Ah, okay. okay. So, and then Person Man, and then Nick or Rules, uh, which is Yoey Melker. He, right. he keeps winning stuff. Hey, What's up with that? That's good. We could save on shipping. Uh, Zach, is ship in, all this Zach is in the saddest of fourth places. <laughs> Perhaps we could be convinced to toss Zach a bone if we're. I, we do actually have a bunch of decks to give away, so we need to. We do need to give away. We're just going to give away two, I think, to each person. Yeah, it's not better, we'll better or worse for any of the payouts. But we have, we have we have nothing to do with these decks. Like yeah. we, I, what are we going to do with these decks? So, so. Uh, send me your your infos on Discord. Shipping info. Top four peoples and. Uh, Yes, this your is person man. Yeah, no, he's not person man. He's Zach, right? No, Zelda. player herp. Player herp is person man. Player herp is person man. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll we'll go top four. So we, I think I said uh, for every twenty, we'd give away a place. We'd pay a place out. And we got seventy five, so I guess we'll round up. Yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. Um, yeah, and we'll give you all two of the altar decks. And then last place did in fact get a balance sheets play mat, courtesy of Titan's Oak. Yeah, ordered it today. Um, that was Dr. Sheep that won that by having the worst bracket. Very skilled. Very skilled at having the worst possible bracket. <laughs> Way on down here. Uh, bit, bit, barely beating out Victor. Yeah, it was close. It was just because he, he uh, got less game. One less game <laughs> than Victor. So, pretty cool stuff. Now, we're going to open all our sealed decks. <laughs> Sorry, Victor. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, no, we can ship to UK. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. It, uh, it will pro uh, well, uh, is it a thing? With Brexit? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> no. Is it a thing? <laughs> do, do I know if it's a thing or not? Um, I mean, I think it's probably about the same. I just, I have no clue when you'll see it, right? Well, I'll, sh I can ship it, but I don't know. If you want, if you want, we can wait a month. To, to see what the fallout of the initial few weeks are like, right? Um, yeah, well, that was, that was like uh, pre-Brexit, right? So, I was going to say, I don't think, 
I don't think it matters U- U.S. to U.K. I think that's still going to be roughly the same thing. Um, but we'll I'll wait a month and then um, just uh, ping us in the Discord or whatever. U.S. trade doesn't change at all. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Then, yeah, there's no problem. I can ship it out. So we've shipped out stuff international before. So, so we're I, I didn't think it did, but um, yeah. Here we go. All right. So we'll set up the sealed now. Now uh, a new bracket. For now y'all now that the games nobody wanted to see are out of the way, yeah. uh, we are going to open up some decks. And the We're prizes not... for this bracket prediction will be some of the unopened decks we got from these boxes. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is code, it was AOA. We have extra AOA, Mass Mutation, and Worlds Collide for these. We're going to open them up. We're going to show you the houses. Yeah, you're going to get the house combination and the set. And we're going we're we're gonna to type the name in. We're going to try to peek... Um, we're going to try to peek to see if there's anomalies, legacies, or mavericks in a deck. Um, but, but for the, all intents and purposes, this tournament is basically a straight sealed tournament. Um, we're starting this Sunday. Yep. You'll have until Sunday to clear your brackets out. It's pretty much just random brackets, yeah. right? Yeah. Pretty much. Um, so you've got the name, you've got the grayscale, you've got other stuff to go on. I did split out set versus set as much as possible in the first round. Yes. Um, so, uh, yeah. So let's just start open. Okay. So first deck is a Mass Mutations deck. I got you this box. But... Um, and we're, we're keeping them basically sealed until we sleeve it up for the turn. Yep. Right. Okay. And, um, ooh. So you're going to pass to me so I can type the name in. Uh, this is Not Kiss, the enticer of yeah. the monument. I need to see the name. <laughs> yeah. Cause... Uh, it is Dis... Star Alliance Shadows. It has in hand, It's got a legacy in it. Okay. So the first deck does have a legacy in it. Don't know what house, um, but it does have a legacy. So you can go and open the next one. While I'm working on this. Okay. All right. And then you're just gonna put them in here. Um. How do, how do we put them in where I don't see the deck? All right. So AOA is the next. You're not gonna look at the deck. It doesn't matter. It's fine for us to see like a little oh, bit. Okay. It does, yeah. literally doesn't yeah. mean anything. All right, so AOA. Distan Horn, the Absent Salt Flat Crook. Robnar Dis Shadows. Okay. All right. Next up is This is AOA. Okay. Uh yeah, that, that one's AOA. All right, I've got um, Worlds Collide is third. Brobnar Worlds Collide, um, Logos and Dis, and uh, Mistress Dumble Seal Rosen. Oh, I've got to see if there was a Legacy or Maverick in it. There, no, none, no Legacy, no Maverick in that deck. And in this deck, there is a Legacy in this deck. Oh, cool. So, uh, Worlds Collide with a Legacy. You checking out the Legacy? Is it a spicy one? Oh. Oh, it's spicy. Oh, it's a spicy one. All right. Uh, Coda. Obviously, no legacies. We got some um, Mars Brobnar Untamed Coda. Not a great combo in Coda, uh, historically. She that anxiously exists for changelings. No Maverick. <laughs> okay. Dynamite is a rough watch. Oh, oh man, man. I, 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 I was I prepared to cry. Yes, yeah. I will. This this has a legacy in it. This AOA has a legacy. Oh wow, we have piles heck? of legacies. That's pretty cool. We got all kinds of legacies. We got legacies coming out of our damn ears. Oh man, this 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 name is too real. AOA Shadows Brobnar Logos, um, the benefactor who opposes the world. That's pretty legacy. cool. <laughs> and a legacy? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Um, another Brobnar Worlds Collide deck. Nordad, the criminal of weapons. <laughs> the criminal of weapons. The criminal of weapons. Uh, dis, uh, dis Sarian Brobnar with an anomaly. These what? decks are bangers. What? Bangers. That's awesome. Uh, we got a box. I can throw this stuff in, right? Yeah, it's under there. Bangers! 
When was the last? When was the last time? Man, we. Yeah. Jeez. So. It does. Feel, it feels rigged to me, player her. Rigged. All right. Um, General Omahorn, and this is Worlds Collide. General Omahorn, the Guarded Imperator. Wait, is this Worlds Collide? No, this is uh, this is no, Mass Mutation. Mass Mutation. Okay. So, um, General Omahorn, the Guarded Imperator, dis sank us, uh, uh dis Sarian Star Alliance. Yeah, making up for the lack of sins, right? Is this when we get a sense that I hope so. Yeah, really. <laughs> this is Coda, right? Coda. Another another banger combination here. Sanctum Mars Shadows. But the name is Designer Sizzle. Designer Sizzle. That's Designer great. Sizzle. I wanna see that design. I wanna see it sizzle. All right, we got a Worlds Collide. Worlds Collide. Uh, no Legacy, no Brobnar. Um, Saurian. We're going to wait for Sins. We, don't, we do not want to reveal if we have Sins. Yeah, Saurian, Star Alliance, Untamed. I, Herod, Raider of the Pronto Rock. Um, AOA, Dis Sanctum Brobnar. Now this is actually a banger combination in um, AOA, in my opinion. Yeah. Like in sealed, I'll take a Dis Dis Sanctum Brobnar deck any day. Um, so, um, Yvonne, Town Madman, Town Madman. All right, um, world. Uh, sorry, mass mutations. Uh, untamed Star Alliance shadows. Belinda Kingspeak Chancellor. Belinda Kingspeak Chancellor. Okay. Uh, Coda. Brobnar Shadows Dis. Fate Space, the Silversmith of Poisons. I like Brobnar Shadows Dis a lot in Coda. Yeah, it's, it's got a lot of potential. It's got a, got a lot of potential. Silversmith of Poisons. Yeah, that can make Amber just gone. This is Mass Mutation, right? Mass Mutations. Hamilton, the Watcher of Bucklers. <laughs> um, and this is uh, Sanctum Shadows Untamed with a Legacy. Ooh. What is Mass Mutation, you said? Yeah, Mass Mutations, right? Oh. Hamilton, the Watcher of Bucklers. Yeah, that was a lot of Legacies. No legacy. We've already like surpassed our legacy count. Oh. It's like four, right? Yeah. Is this AOA? Uh, yep, AOA. Um, Shadows Untamed Logos. Ackerson of Neverroom Cathedral. That deck is not. That deck is gonna have to rely on that Shadows to stop any keys. A. Agerson. <laughs> you done messed up now, A. Agerson. Okay. All right. Worlds collide. Uh, Savalina, Barone Hall, Judge. Uh, Logos Sarian Brobnar. Not particularly promising for Worlds collide. But, I mean, Logos. Logos and uh, Sarian could be good enough to uh, uh, make up for it. So. Oh, yeah, definitely. 
All right, Coda. Yep. All right, uh, Jarplow, spawn of Charpuddle. <laughs> Brobnar, untamed dis. No Mavericks. Jarplow. 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 Spawn of Charpuddle. I really that, like Jarplow. That is a straight up, uh, like, um, Diablo name generator right there. Definitely. All right. Mass mutation. Mass mutations. Man, I can just open decks. I know, it's things. great. Okay. I can't wait to play these new decks, dude. We're going to discover All new right. stuff. Okay. Uh, Star Alliance Logos Untamed. Talon Lachlan Zone Jeweler. Zone Jeweler. Zone Jeweler. Jeweler. Okay. How many decks in total? 32. 32. Oh, this name's pretty good. His name, his name is good. Worlds Collide, right? Worlds Collide. Lots of lots of Brobnar in this Worlds Collide, by the way. Uh, Brobnar, uh, Saurian, Star Alliance, expertly cold-blooded Ivar. Pretty good. Expertly cold. Anyway. Yep. Uh, Mars Logos Diffs. Frau Sinksphere. The Barbed Scofflaw. I like, I like, uh, Mars Logos Diffs. No mediocre code bloods, yeah. Man, Mars Logos Diffs can be a banger in, um, anyway, there's nothing to scoff at. Uh, Coda, right? Coda. Logos Dis Sanctum. Absolute Firefall Syra. Syra's a pretty good name. Absolute Firefall. I got a legacy in this one. Oh. Uh, Worlds Collide? Yep. Okay, Worlds Is Collide. It no. No Brobnar, um, but does have a legacy. And it is Dis Untamed Star Alliance, D. Krylov, Spelunker of the Elderly Vents. Okay. D. Krylov, Spelunker. Makes all the names incredible. Good. It's my announcer voice. Elderly Vince. Yeah. yeah. The Elderly Vince. You got it. It's a legacy. It's a banger legacy. <laughs> I, I can't wait to actually go see all these legacies. <laughs> all right. Um, this one was what? AOA? AOA. Okay. Wait. Did you skip one? Nope. No, no. You're, you're okay. You're putting it and it'll go yep. into the thing. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. AOA. Dis Brobnar Untamed. Obsolete Jordan of the Gridiron. Obsolete Jordan. Obsolete of the Gridiron. Of the Gridiron. Okay. Gridiron should have been obsolete this year. That's just my opinion there. Uh, enhanced, nothing else. Okay. Uh, mass mutations. Uh... Sanctum Shadows uh, Saurian. Genius Hydeg Borabat. Boreabat. 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 Hydeg. Genius Hydeg Boreabat. H E I D. We got any Boreabats in chat? Egg. Any Hydegs in chat? <laughs> oh. Oh. <gasps> what? The deck name? This this one, this upcoming one. Alright. Hold on. 
Okay, go ahead. Okay. This is Coda, right? Coda. Logos, Brobnart, Untamed. Uh, one of my favorite combinations from Coda. Some of my favorite decks. This is the Aya of Honeyfield. <gasps> the other Aya. Another Aya. <laughs> the Aya, yeah. Awesome. Please open a band name. Yeah, that would be sweet. These yeah, these Coda decks were like, or the boxes were super beat up. I don't know how to tell if they're first printing or not on just the boxes. Yeah. I didn't actually get a display box of Coda. We'll know if the decks are completely broken or completely dysfunctional. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Show the box it was in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, you probably won't be able to tell much by just like the... Um, I'll, I, it, they're all from. Well, they're all. They could all be from different boxes. Yeah, because right? really, they were just loose decks. They were just so. loose decks. Yeah, it'll say thirty-seven um, cards. Oh, uh, this deck has a legacy in it. Uh, does it say on the back? No, it's like on the front. That does not say thirty-seven. It says all right, can't, they can't actually see that. It changed the wording on the box. The this is contains one unique ready to play archon deck. So I think those are second printing. Is that correct? I think so. Okay. I just got from Amazon. <laughs> All right, so this mass is... mutations. Okay, this one has the legacy. I looked. I peeked. I saw the legacy. It's not. It's. It's nothing. Uh, don't worry. about No, it's points. exciting. Well, I'm sorry. Actually, it is enhanced. It is an enhanced legacy. Something to be excited. Literally, about. the only one that exists. You can't so, disprove that. Hastings, the theoretical, and this is dis untamed Star Alliance. Oh, Ooh. very cool. Very cool. All right. Um, AOA. Brobnar, Untamed Mars. Yara. Chariata Impersonator. I don't know who Chariata is, but... Just being impersonated. Yeah. It's popular enough to be impersonated. That deck will look awesome and not get the job done every time. Yeah. Worlds Collide. No, um, Brobnar Untamed Shadows. This one, this this deck is uh, probably in trouble. I got a feeling this deck is in trouble. The Professor of Innoland. So Worlds Collide. A professor with no logos in it? Yeah. Mm. Uh -oh. mm -mm. Think, think that deck is in trouble. The Shadows has to be a super banger. Yeah. Okay, Coda. Uh, Mr. Kudo Brother Griffith. Um, so Coda, this Logos Untamed, it's got potential in Coda. Oh yeah, it actually does. Got a lot of potential in Coda. Kudo Brother. Kudo Brother. Um, mass mutations. This is this is actually. Uh, I wish we had opened this on day one when we had um our new sound effects ready to go because this deck's name is Michelangelo, like <laughs> like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, um, Michelangelo Chameleonic Valley Officer. We would have been super hyped then. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, having listened to um Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for seven months yeah. now, um the the novelties worn off. So anyway, uh, mass mutations, logos dis untamed. Um, with no legacies. Hulk Hogan there. Chameleonic. Chameleonic. That's a pretty cool word. <laughs> this, I got a feeling there's somebody who wants this deck title. Worlds Collide. Uh, Logos Dis Shadows. Um, so if Light Tasker is any indication that yeah. this deck is an, a guaranteed banger. Um, so uh, it is the Archon who measurably emits Dis. What? Yeah. <laughs> wow. The Archon who measurably emits Dis. That's crazy. Yeah, that name's pretty good. It's a pretty good name.
I've seen some after things. Our dis- uh, after, after our disc display. Yeah. I've seen some things. All right. Um, AOA. AOA. Shadows Brobnar Dis. Mooncare. Fortress Commander. Uh, no legacies. No Mavericks. It's a good name. I, th- I think someone would pay for that name. Like I said, I, I thought... So no, no actual Mavericks in this uh, pile, but a ton of Legacies and an Anomaly. So. I'm fine with that. Uh, Coda. Uh, Sanctum Dis Shadows. The Hacker That Protects Aspirations. Oh, mm. okay. Any, any InfoSec workers in the chat? Bam. There you have it. And there you go. Um assuming I spelled it right, I probably didn't, but um we'll we'll we can fix it as we go. We'll yeah. fix it in post. Not kiss. Um Yeah, Mavericks. Mavericks, I mean it's supposed to be like 2.5 to 1, right? I think Mavericks are like 1 in 25 and Legacies are 1 in 10. So, all right. Um, that is the preview. The bracket, uh, the predictions are up now. Um, you've got info to work with. You've got name. You've got house combination, and you've got the set. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, looking to be pretty fun. It'll be completely different than what we yeah. have been playing. It'll be, it'll be like similar to the last tournament, right? But with way less, way less hype or way less power. Yeah, I would say. In the decks, um, maybe I mean there might be one deck that just emerges as just an absolute the ultimate beater. Yeah. Which is I mean, I think a, with thirty two, I think it's I think we'll stumble across a deck that is just gargantuan. Yeah. So compared to the others, at least. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to play some new decks. It's been so long since we've opened new decks, right? I mean, it's been six months. Yeah. Yeah. So. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, but uh, looking forward to the sealed tournament. It'll be a change of pace. Um, and you're and, gray. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I don't remember. There were a lot of purples. Gray. Jarplow. Jarplow is gray. Is gray. On the gray scale. And uh, Yvonne Town Madman mm. is gray. Um, one more. Nordad, the criminal of weapons, is gray. That's it. To three. Three grayscale decks. The criminal of weapons. Pretty cool. All right. So that's the stream. I hope it. you all enjoyed. Uh, I, please I, clap for Mr. Jack Feet. Please show one Mr. Jack Feet. more time. Your tabletop royale champion. Right here. It's in the box. You just Earned trust, it. Trust me on this. It's in the box. Earned the belt. Safe and secure. It's the champion. The very first champion. Champion. No one can take being the first champion away. We would away. play Queens. Uh, we are the champions right now, but we, we don't want to get DMC. Can't play any of that. Um, so we'll just, let's all just take a moment to imagine Roadrunner singing We Are the Champions. We are the champions. Actually, Jack Feet is the champion. <laughs> no time for a config because <laughs> Jack Feet is the champion. Of DTR. So there you go. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on Sunday. Goodbye. Happy New Year.